Now, let's solve another problem. Nakaka-pressure. We will see later, especially in the topic of fluid mechanics, that the fluid pressure P depends on the density of fluid rho. This is a Greek symbol rho. And the fluid speed V. What combination of rho and V will give the correct dimensions of P? Okay, I'll be giving you maybe a minute to um, figure out what equation can we create based on uh, just the dimensions of pressure, density, and speed. Okay? Now, okay, let's solve the problem. So we will see later. Again, as I said, we have fluid, fluid pressure is a function of density and so it's proportional to some density, uh, some function of density and velocity. Now, this is the thing. Um, of course, what you can do is, okay, what if I just add them, rho plus v? You can do that because we know that density and fluid, density and speed are not the same, are not of the same units. So you cannot just add these two quantities and say, ah, okay, that's the units of pressure. That's ridiculous. However, a simple combination can be just a product of density and volume. So, uh, so what we can do here is I'll write my um, a pressure as rho to the A, V to the B, okay? Where A and B are some exponents. So we don't know yet what A and B are. So yon, bucket, because again, we can always multiply two um, quantities with the different, with different units, diba? Pwede kong gawin gawin yan. I can always do that. So wala, walang nababawal sa atin na mag-multiply ng rho to the something tsaka v to the something. What's important here though is dapat consistent yung maging units sa lalabas. Okay, so the question now is, I'll be using again the notation L is units of length, T is the units of um, time, and M is the unit of mass. So, so the question is, what is the unit of P? What is units? What is the unit of your pressure? So remember, uh, from your high school math, high school sciences, that pressure is just what uh, has units force, force per area. Per area. Per area. Yes. And what is the unit of, of force? So from your Newton's second law, is you will see that. So Newton, which is equal to what? Uh, I want it to be in base expressed in terms of base units. I don't the want kilogram, to kilogram per meter, the kilogram mass, meter per second. Mass square. over length. So this is the ang force I keep on Newton. One Newton equals one kilogram, kilogram meter, meter per second. Per second. Per so in terms of base units, this is just force has units of one of M. So this is simply units of M, units of L over T e squared. Tama? Yes, sir. Tama? Then area has units of what? L squared. L squared, tama. L. Because L is length, so area is length squared. Okay, so simplifying this, we get something like what? An M over L. Uh, what I will do instead is I have an M over L T squared. Tama? Yes, tama? yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, okay, so tabi muna natin yan. What about rho to the H? What are the units of rho to the A? This is so, uh, simply mass over volume. Over length cube. Mass over length cube. Volume. Thank you. Since volume is length, we have mass over L length cube length. to the A. Okay? And then, ano pa? V, anong units of V to the B? This is just equal to length, what? Over, length time. over T squared. Length over T squared ba? Length over T. Length, length over T. 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 Yan, length over T lang. This is L over T, quantity raised to B. Now let's compare. So this means that we want this to be, the product of this to be equal to this. So we have meter over length times squared equals meter over, uh, sorry, mass over L cube, sorry, it's not meter. L cube raised to A, L over T raised to B. Of course, what you can do there is to perform a system of equations in A and B. But it's difficult. Huh? Medyo mahassle yun. At tingnan mo na lang ganito. Pansinin mo, yung M dito has only power of 1. Diba? Therefore, what can you expect about A? For it to be consistent with M. 1. Then, this means that by comparison, A should also be equal to 1. Diba? So this means that we have M over L cube. Uh, and then L over T raised to B. 
Now, let's look at t squared. Ta. T has power of 2. And dito kasi, isa lang naman yung t. Therefore, what can we say about b? What can we say about b? T squared to, tapos may t ka rito, dito the b. Diba? Diba? Therefore, ano dapat yung maging b mo? 2. 2, diba? B equals 2. And, and let's say it's tama. So, if I'll do that, so we have m over lt squared. Again, you need yan. Equals m over, is this equal to m over l cube multiplied by l squared over t squared. But this will cancel out and we have m over l t squared. Therefore, it's now con dimensionally consistent. And hence, we have shown that the correct relationship is simply that the units of pressure must be p, p equals the units of density times units of b squared. That is the correct relationship of the units. Now, note here na hindi pa natin sinasabi na yan yung formula because it's possible that there are certain um, constants connect, um, uh, na nakakabit dun sa pressure. For example, pwede kasi ang formula talaga ay P equals 1 half root squared. Pwede yan. In that case, here, we see that the 1 half here is not reflected in the dimensional analysis. But they have the same units as the one that we obtained. As I said kanina, for dimensional analysis, we'll check whether your, um, uh, whether your answer is wrong or not. But it doesn't give you the right answer. It doesn't necessarily give you the correct answer. Kailangan lang tama yung units. So, so isang check siya para ma-check kung mali na yung ginagawa mo. Pero it doesn't necessarily mean na kapag tama na yung units, so tama na yung sagot. Because there are constants connected to the equation that might be missed upon calculation. Upon when you, for example, do the calculator work. Okay? Questions for this item? May tanong ba? Wala po. 